Hi everyone, so this is my quick little video. It is an overview of the Hindu pantheon. I hope you enjoy. This is the pantheon that I have really connected to. I've done this video before, but I didn't quite like how the audio turned out. So, let's start. Here, starting out, is Brahma, who is the creator of the universe. He is the creator of the Vedas. He is part of the Trinity. He has four heads to look in the four different directions. Now, he doesn't have like a specific sect such as Vaishnavism and Shaivism for Vishnu and um, Shiva. However, it's very obvious that he played a big role since he is the creator. Next is Vishnu, and in some parts of mythology, Vishnu is the one who told Brahma to create the universe. Brahma grew from the navel of Vishnu and was told to create the universe. Vishnu is the preserver of the universe and the protector of people. He has a sect, a sect called Vaishnavism. Um, a popular one here in the U.S., unfortunately, is the Hare Krishna movement. Now, Krishna and Rama, which are coming up here, are two of his incarnations, meaning forms of Vishnu born on Earth. Then coming up is Shiva, who is the destroyer of the Trinity. He has a sect called Shaivism, and as far as I know, there's really no incarnations of Shiva on Earth. He is often depicted with Kali, as she is like a goddess of death, but there's just so much more to them than that. Then there is Lakshmi, consort of Vishnu, goddess of wealth and prosperity. She also has incarnations, which are Radha, oh, this one's Sita, I'm sorry, for Rama, and then Radha for Krishna. Next up is Dorga, who is the product of gods putting their powers together to create this fierce goddess. But beyond being a warrior goddess, she is also seen as a mother goddess. Next up is Kali, who is an extension of Dorga. She's often seen at times with Shiva. She is a goddess of death, sometimes said to be of earth and sexuality and transformation. Then there is Parvati, who is the consort of Shiva. She is a reincarnation of Sati. She is also the mother of Ganesh. Ganesh is the elephant-headed god, who is the god of removing obstacles and of wisdom. He is said to have big ears to hear the prayers of the world. Then there is Sarasvati who is the consort of Brahma. Some say that she actually taught Brahma the Vedas. She is the goddess of knowledge, learning, of uh, music, poetry, all that other stuff. Beautiful goddess. So yeah, that's a quick little overview. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was really quick and I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching.